Good morning, guys. Uh, this is uh, me one more time, just making a, a small video. I I was cleaning my equipment this morning, and I just wanted decided to uh, share with you guys my small uh, collection that I've acquired over this past year. We are on May 2020 right now, and uh, the first one I want to share with you guys is um, is HR2 HR173. It's a 17 inch uh, cutting with a uh, small consumer grade machine. It works great, starts right up. I had to fix the carburetor, but it works now. And, and unfortunately, it's not self propelled, but it's so light that even my six year old can, can push it and mow the yard. It works and it's in perfect condition right now. And I have the bag for it, so it's all good. The next one is the uh, HR214. Uh, uh, what I like about this one is uh, it has an aluminum deck and also has the bag and it's self propelled. It has three uh, three speeds. Um, the engine is in really great shape. The only thing I'm missing from this motor will be the, uh, the clutch uh, cable. It broke on me, so that's all I'm, I'm missing right now. But other than that, it's a really nice mower. And here's where it, it starts getting a lot better. I have uh, this two commercial grade HR216 mowers that I acquired. Uh, I, I bought them uh, in 2019, like probably February, almost uh, over a year ago. And they really, I'll say, uh, adventurous thing was this right here. I had the, the old style HR216 already on uh, in my collection, and when I got this engine, um, it was already uh, broken up, so it didn't have the uh, the engine block was totally destroyed. So I bought it as a parts mower. And I decided to switch my older model of the HR216 and use the block. And probably I was hoping to be able to switch all the uh, parts from the newer broken engine. So I was able to. The only thing I had to pretty much do on a drill a hole, not drill actually, just make a screw connection, a bolt connection for it was right here. This is the only hole that it does come with. The older style does come with, but it needs to be it needs to be adapted to hold this bolt right here. So that's all all I had to do, and everything else just from the from the newer broken one, all the parts, filter, tank, everything, I was able to use on top of that working engine, older style that I had a really nice, smooth working condition. So I was able to make it look new using that old block when that from the one that I already had. So hope that doesn't confuse you guys. But I have this two Hondas. Uh, that's the newer one. That's probably that ha that has maybe been used maybe five times since I bought it, and the the owner had had it for six months before he sold it to me. But this one, I'm not sure what year it is, but I know it's a previous model um, from that one. But both of them are in great shape and working, self-propelled, hydrostatic drive, and all that good stuff for all the Honda fans that already know what I'm talking about. And next, I have this 11 horsepower industrial pressure washer. Man, this is a beast. I have to hold the... Uh, the pressure gun with both hands or else that thing will just go flying so I, I've never had something this powerful but what I like about it is that it has the uh, belt driven power washer which is which I, I, I assume when I, I've heard around that it's a, one of the most powerful and unbreakable machines you can get for a pressure washer so that's it the 11 horsepower
push washer. I had to do an upgrade on the tires. I didn't like the ones that they had in stock, so I found this bad boys right here. They were white, but I just painted them black.